I got you. You know what I'm saying? They done waxed the floor. It's shining in here. I done had somebody, I done bought paint, painted myself. You know what I'm saying? The little chips on my table. I done painted the, the table. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no chips on my table. You know what I'm saying? It's nice in here. You know what I'm saying? Smelling good. My aroma in here. I got that, I got that oil burning all the time. And then out of here. Seven? Man, bro. Sarge opened the door up. Pah! Come here. Come here. Both of you. Both of you. Because when he say, come here, I don't move. I ain't telling, but he he can't be talking to me because whatever he saying come here for don't belong to me. He, come here, come here. I just sit there. What's up, Saul? My said look up. You need to go over and talk to Saul. <laughs> you need to go over and holler to Saul because I ain't got nothing to say to him. He, come on, come on over here, baby. Man, that's crazy. Who did it belong to? What is that, Saul? Quit playing with me, baby. Quit playing with me. Man, it's hard. I've been locked up nine, nine going on almost ten years, man. I got <laughs> you. Got to pop this whip. You got to pop the whip. You this, this a penitent, this a penitent for next move right here. Cause my cell ain't said nothing. So come on, so man. I've been locked up nine going on ten years, so I'm finna get ready to flatten out in about six. I'm finna get ready to flatten out in six and a half months. You think I'm gonna come on, so You know I've been in this cell for the last year. Ain't no what. What makes you think I'm gonna all of a sudden I'm gonna, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a butcher knife in here? Come on, so You know I ain't even doing all that. My cell is still sitting right there looking looking silly. <laughs> he ain't trying to pop his whip yet. Man, it's hard. I don't know where you where you find it at anyway. Ah, oh, it was tucked in the man, that, that could have been back, that could have been back there before I moved in here. Said, well, you should have searched your cell. I, I should have searched the cell. No, that ain't that ain't how it works, hard. We do cell changes and stuff in here all the time. What makes you think when I move in a new cell, I'm finna come in here and examine the cell and look around the cell and see if something up in here, Saul? I'm not finna do all that. What I look like, Saul, the cell searcher? I'm not a sales searcher. You see rock man in here to do that every time y'all move somebody in. Then my seller, then my seller. Man, it's hard. This way, this is this what my seller say. Like. Uh, you, you already know Joe T ain't lying. Joe T ain't lying. You know Joe T. Why you ain't pleading your own case? This, man, it's hard. You already know Joe T ain't lying. Joe T ain't trying to do nothing like that, man. Joe T done changed his life. He trying to go home and this, this, and that. That was all I say. Like. Pack him up, send him back up to the back. M? He said, E M, M, pack them up. Them. Pack them up, send them on back to the back. I said, man, come on, Sarge, you doing it like that? But no, I ain't got no choice. He said, y'all gonna pack up, y'all gonna go on to. Y'all gotta go on back there, y'all sort that out, whoever, who with whose ever it is. When y'all get your M-A advisor, M-A advisor, them M-A advisors is pulling pretenders. They just like pulling defenders up in the court. Man, come on, Sarge, man. It's the weekend, man. I just got back from visit, man. You know I ain't even on all that. Pack them up, send them on back into the hole. <laughs> when they lock you, when they find something in your cell, they lock you in the cell. It's already count time anyway. They lock the door. Me and my seller here packing up. My seller, man, don't even worry about it, Joe T, man. Man, set up. Set up. Why you ain't tell me someone was in here, Sally? Well, I could have paid the neighbor to hold that, man. You, 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 you know little Tommy next door. Why would you hold him like in here little Tommy next door? Man, brother didn't want me to hold it. No, nah, brother, that you could have gave that to little Tommy next door, man. He before the door popped, he could have could put it on the he could he could have put it on the line. You don't know what a line is in the penitentiary? That's when you next the door to somebody. It don't matter really what door you in. You create this long line. You can take your shoelaces. You can take a piece of your towel. You can take a piece of your sheet. You create a line. You put something on the end of could you throw it out the door and it go in the next door. You can pass stuff like that. You could have put that on the line, family, and got that back. You could have got that. My bad, Joe T. Yo, bad. Family, I'm finna lose my sale, family. Man, I done paid it in everything. Man, this a $150 sale. This a $150, you know what I'm saying? That's a penitentiary flick. This a $150 sale, family. Paid $25 for the table. $25, $25 for the bookshelf, family. Then I paid another $100 for the walls, family. This a $150 sale. What's wrong with you, Sally? Man, that's crazy, man. Go on, pack up this. So look, look we, we pack up, go to the hole. The only good thing about this was, when you go to the hole before you catch it, you can take your property back there. You can take your property back there before you before you take before you get the charge for somebody signing off guilty. So I got the two in them. I got the two in them. So we get back and I. But, yeah, 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 you good, you good? Nah, my bad, I had to wait. I'm in the hole, baby. I can't even really talk to, 
talk about my city the way I want to. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm talking, I'm, man, man, my city, man, you know, brother them done made him hold, you know what I'm saying? Brother them, he done had to, you know, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to, you know, but yeah, 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 I'm in the hole. Yeah, thank you, yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm finna call my guy real quick and tell him, you know what I'm saying? Let the inmate advise him. I'm gonna see if he can snatch the right up. See, that's the thing in the penitentiary. A lot of times, it's, it's people who work in the, at the D board, you can get them to go get the right up, <laughs> tear it up. It never existed. Might cost you three, four hundred though. That's a that's a three, four hundred dollar pay in the penitentiary. You want me to get rid of the right up? You want me to get rid of the right up? You know what I'm saying? You, I'm gonna need three, four hundred. You gonna make the right up disappear? You gonna make the? I'm talking about. The, I'm talking about. It's over with. Finito. It's done. Man, you give me three, four hundred, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make sure the whole bet that, bet that. So a day rolled by, right? It, it's it. Well, it ain't even twenty four hours. My seller, he get a couple of kites under the law. So he ain't telling me what the case is, but I see who the case coming from. So I'm like, oh, what, what's up, bro? Everything good? He like, man, Joe T, man. I ain't even gonna lie to you, like, man, brother, them really, brother, them really want me to debo you. De debo who? De debo who? Said, man, brother, them, you know, brother, them really telling me, you know what I'm saying? They, they, I ought to tell you, you, you gotta take the charge. That's a who, who, who? Tell who? Who is you? Tell you who is you? I'm Joe T. Who is you? Man, you already know how brother, them rocking. You know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to be going to the drug unit and this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? The brother, them, brother, them really. Brother them really say, you know what I'm saying, man, we respect Joe T, but Joe T ain't, you know what I'm saying, Joe T ain't that no more, you know what I'm saying, so you can go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, if you want to, you know what I'm saying, we can, we can, we can put, put some pressure on Joe T, you can go ahead and take the job, Joe T got to take the job, I said, I'm going to tell you and tell you all the rest of you, Joe T ain't taking the charge, huh? Joe T, so I don't know if you said that to see if I was going to say, don't even worry about it, <laughs> or what, or what you going to see if I was going to go, let me tell you right now, let me, let's get one thing show, let's get one thing understood. I don't tell you ain't taking no charges, eh? <laughs> that, that's over with. <laughs> Wait, well, so what you what you what uh what you gonna do? Man, I ain't even gonna do you like that, though. No, you, you wasn't gonna be able to, Sid. You, you 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 I ain't even gonna do you like that, bro. I, I already done told brother them, man, I ain't doing Joe T like that. You, you wasn't gonna do Joe T like that anyway. <laughs> so so whatever, 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 you know what I'm saying, gonna do what you gotta do. So they come back the next morning, they come out, they were like, you know, which one of y'all taking the charge? I jump up right up off the bump. I'm looking at him, he looking at me, we looking at each other. He said, man, that old, that old man, man. You 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 tell, you can tell the deep, you know what I'm saying, that old man, man. Don't be looking at me like you said that you had to take that charge, Seth. That belonged to you in the penitentiary. See, you one of the people out on the street. If I'm riding in the car with you and I done asked you if you got something, you ain't gonna tell me you got something. And then not only that, when we get pulled over, you ain't gonna let me know. You done dropped it down in the floorboard. And now the police done told us to get out of the car and they searching the car. I'm thinking I'm legit. I got driver's license, I got insurance, my tags ain't inspired, you know what I'm saying? My tent legit. I don't know what's going on. They claim they got a probable cause. I'm not even tripping. Go ahead and search the car. The police come come around with a little bag talking about which one of y'all? And now I'm looking at you like, hey, you, you, you suddenly say, Dang, that James OT, you ain't even tell me you had nothing to No, 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 no. You need to take your charge, man. You 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 one of them. And see, that commercial break me, please. See, that's what I don't understand about street dude. See, this this this, this is a life lesson right here. Especially when they come to that word, oh, I ain't doing no snitches, I ain't the police, and I ain't this, this, and that. You know how many people I done ran into in the penitentiary? That done took a charge for somebody or was in the car with somebody, in the dope house with somebody, police ran in there, and them folks don't take their charge, and they 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 in here thinking they some stand-up guy because they signed for 12 years and 30 percent. You got two kids out here, your child mama out here, now she taking pee from some dude who giving her forty dollars every other week. Your mama can't drive down here to come to see you. She's struggling still. You sitting in the penitentiary talking about you a real cat. Who? Man, take your charge, I'm going to give it to you. That's what I ain't never understood. But see, they don't talk about that part of the game. That part of the game ain't discussed. See, the youth, they only, man, I ain't the police. I ain't doing no telling. This, 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 and that. I ain't. But what about the dudes who put you in a position who don't man up and take no charge? They ought to have the heart. They ought to get, <laughs> listen, they ought to be, get, be, be hard on them in the penitentiary too. If you come to the penitentiary, and it's me and you, me and little bruh, and we get in here and they try to, first thing, man, you know, bruh told on bruh. No, 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 no. What the conversation need to be here, 
Man, they went, man, and bruh didn't know what was going on. Bruh did that. Bruh didn't take his charge. He got little bruh locked up. You need to go upside his head. That's what need to be going on in the pentagon. I seen several of them. I seen a dude do 17 years. Listen to me. True story. I seen a man do 17 years for something he didn't do. Them folks didn't send him nothing. Didn't come see him. This man was struggling. Then guess what else happened? Because the time was so hard on my guy started doing drugs and everything. Oh my God, off the chain in the pentagon. He get home after doing 17 years. Ask me, did them folks do something for him? Nothing? Oh, you real. You real. If you think I'm finna let you trick me out of everything in my life for the I'm real label, you got the wrong one, buddy, old pal. You most definitely got the wrong one. And then let me tell you, that's the same thing really happened to me. When my situation happened, I was the first one the police called because of my name. They knew me. I'm the first one these folks called. I call myself keeping the real and gave somebody else the opportunity to go tell. And when they went and told, get what? Them folks went scot-free. And when they went scot-free, get what? The streets went hard on them. They still hustling to this day. They still in the street. They still cool with everybody. I'm sitting in the penitentiary talking about, oh, I'm real because I didn't tell. Real stupid. Real stupid. I'm sitting in here with 10 years. These people out here is enjoying their life. No, no, sir, buddy, old pal. It won't happen again. Do something with me. You ain't got no business doing. Yeah, yeah, my homeboy right here, he just did. I'm going to call the police in front of the dying, bro. You tell him. Yeah, my homeboy, he just such and such and such and such, 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 such. Yeah, I got him right here. Yeah, you heard him? You just heard him say, was I telling him? Yeah, that's him. So something happened. Yeah, his name Rico. What's your last name again, bro? Jefferson. Jefferson. Rico Jefferson. Yeah, so if something happened to him, you know, with him. He live on, he, he live on, uh, what, what street you live on, bro? He live on 324 Avenue. 324, 24th Avenue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you going to jail. That, that's, a, that's how I'm rocking. I'm not going to do no more time for you. It just ain't going to happen. It's just going to happen. It's just going to happen. Because then they ain't going to do, listen. <laughs> <laughs> the street, the streets ain't gonna do nothing for you. They ain't gonna do nothing for you. So, so look, 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 check this out. So my family end up taking the charge, right? I get out of the hole. When I get out of the hole, one thing about the penitentiary is it's hard to get good settings. You ain't you, you. It's hard to get a good settling, especially when it comes to being clean. And he got his own. You ain't gonna find. It's gonna be hard to get both. He might be clean, no food. He might got some food, he nasty. He might got some food, don't clean, and he affiliated. He might not be affiliated, got food, don't clean. It, it, one, it, it, something's going to be off. So I get out. <laughs> Listen, I get out of the hole, right? Two, three days go back, get what? Oh, I got to sell to myself. That don't normally happen in the penitentiary long neither because it's a revolver door. Just as fast as somebody getting out. Listen, one person getting out, they got 25 people coming in. So you don't get a sale to yourself for a long time. I had to sell to myself about two, three days. Listen to me. And I got that toy in there. That big boy touchscreen. Listen to me. Freaked out in there. Freaked out. And I'm locking down early. Usually I'm trying to get to the microwave. Get what? I'm locking down 30 minutes early. I got the sale to myself. Do what? They ain't even hollow lockdown. Hey, hey, I'm gonna get back with y'all, bro. What y'all finna? Y'all finna? Y'all gonna finna? I'm finna go lock down. So T for lock down. Yeah, it's over. It's over, fam. I locked myself here. Dude, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm in here. FaceTime. What you got going on? I'm already in the news. I already got that lotion and that baby oil combination mixed in together. What? I'm sitting in here, listen, all up to death. What you got going on, what? <laughs> listen, I got my little penitentiary lamp on. I got the, listen, I got the big light on. I got the little lamp on. <laughs> The little lamp, I got the little lamp directed down. You know what I'm saying? She, soon as she opened the phone, I don't think she going to see his pig. Listen to me. Thick, long, whack, strong. I'm talking about, hello. What we doing, bro? I hold on real quick. Call me right back. I'm in my mama's house. You need to hear up and leave out more, bro. <laughs> you need to hear up and leave out more with your mama's house. So two, three days go back. I get a salad. You normally want a salad coming off the train. You get a salad coming off the train. 
you might get you a new buddy. You get you a new buddy, you know what I'm saying, you can kind of, you know what I'm saying, let them know how it go. You know what I'm saying? Because when people first come to the penitentiary, they more receptive to listen because they don't know what's going on in the penitentiary. You get you somebody who coming out of the hole, that's a problem. It just so happened, I get somebody coming out of the hole. This man come out the hole, listen to me. He affiliated, he a crip, rolling 60. I don't never want to do time, no, listen, no, just, I don't never want to do time with no crip. That, that, that this over with, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they different levels of everything. They, they do what they want to do, they gang bang, they move how they want to move, and you know what I'm saying, it's going, and I'm going to be honest with you, it's going to be hard to even try to get these folks some kind of guidance and correction, because they going to look at it like you trying to bully them in the cell. So you got to find a way to talk to these people without trying to cause no confrontation. I got a couple of months left. This man moved in my cell. When he get in the cell, lockdown happened. This is a true story. This man pulled out three cell phones. Not one, not two, three. This man pulled out two flip phones and a touch screen. When he, I looked down at the bottom, I looked down on, I said, why does he need three? This man in her trapping like he on the streets. He got three phones. He taking calls on any one of them. He, hold on, Rick, I'm going to call you right back on top of the hill. Call him. He get off the flip, get on the other flip. What you got going on? Ah, that was up. Yeah, I got a brother to run down. He's going to run down from the, he going to, now he going to meet you at the library. He going to meet you at the library. Yeah, call me soon. the can't play. All right. He get off the flip, he get off the other flip phone. He get on the touch screen. I'm sitting here watching this man. I'm like, I don't know. He different, different. I don't know what he got to roll. At this point, I'm real cool with the counselor, right? So I'm like, then once he get off the phones, he trapping, this man filed in the cell. Now, I don't be tripping on, you know what I'm saying? If you smoke, then, you know what I'm saying? Do what you do, you know what I'm saying? I'm tripping, you know, I ain't even tripping. Everybody liked me. Every center that I had, they know I didn't, they know I didn't smoke, so they liked me, having me as a center, because they can smoke, smoke, smoke. They taking it to the face of what they call it. So I'm sitting here, my man started rolling up, then he started, he started talking to me, you know what I'm saying? We politic, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking to him, he talking back, we converse, we having a whole little conversation, right? He breaking down the reef. My man rolled up a 3.5 in the penitentiary. I'm talking about blunt. I'm talking about his, his blunt the size of my finger. My man in here smoking like he on the streets. I said, he must have plenty of that. He must got plenty of that. As he wrote, as he breaking it down in there, he got big buds. He got buds. He don't, he don't got the grind down bud that come in. He got buds. My boy, that let me know he got a real plug. This man go back in his bag. Cool. He get the bag and start sprinkling that white powder over the top of it. I'm looking down there, I said, oh, my son again, hi, hi, he got three phones. So he rolled up the blunt, right? You smoke heavy? Nah, 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 I don't smoke heavy. This thing is heavy? This is the thing right here. Every time I tell somebody I ain't smoke, they ask, oh, you must be finna get ready to get out. So when I, I said, nah, I ain't never smoke, my, you know what smoke said? I said, no. Nah. He said, oh, you must be getting ready to get out. I said, nah, I, said, I ain't never been happy. That's always a commercial break me, please. It always stop right there. My name, what you locked up for, Sammy? They feel like in the penitentiary because you haven't done drugs. They feel like you got one of them charges. They, they need to do an investigation on you for some reason. He, what you locked up for, Sammy? <laughs> Man, bro, what you mean? Well, man, you ain't never, you don't do drugs or nothing? No, fam. So I do, we get to talk about my case, you know what I'm saying, my child or whatever. What. He like, man, that's great. I'm going to invite this to the head. He, he got a real life. He, he, he ain't got to wait. He ain't got to do it like the other people in the position. My man got a real life. He, the man didn't even smoke, though. He didn't smoke. Y'all think I'm playing. This is a true story. This man scared me to death in the cell. He don't even smoke. He rolled the blunt. He didn't put it up. He set the blunt. On the shelf, next to his three phones in them, I said, "My God, think he really lit the trap." The man go back in the bag and pull out some of that dog food. My man hit the H right there, and he. Ah oh, yeah 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 yeah, he got a roll. Then he pulled out a butcher knife. He set the butcher knife right next to the three cell phones in the blunt. I said, "How much time you got, sir?" I got two lives. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what it sounds like. He got it wrong. <laughs> he got a butcher knife. Y'all think I'm playing. He got a butcher knife, three cell phones, blunt rolled up with powder, and I watched him hit the H. Within 20 minutes, count clear. Who, who lying? I'm dead serious. I'm de Listen, I am dead serious about this. This man, soon as the doors pop, yo, what up? He said, man, dang. He said, what? He said, he said, hold on, that's my brother. Commercial break me, please. What's up? What's up, bro? I'm on, uh, I'm on my live. What do you got? Pay attention. What's going on? You got a Sheen card? 